much like Clash NASCAR thingy. <laughs> I think it was the shortest racetrack that they've raced at since I think it was 1971. And um, it was okay. Way better than I thought it was going to be, but that's not really saying too much. I will say that the qualifying races was probably the best part of the entire event. Qualifying race number two was chaotic, exciting, interesting. There was a lot of good passing. There was a lot of good, you know, moves. It was honestly kind of like the Bristol All-Star Race, where, like, every single, like, preliminary race before the main event was probably the best part. And then the actual main event itself is probably the weakest. It was cool for a little bit with Tyler Rack reading. It was cool for a little bit. Um, but then I think lap 51 came and everybody, like, and their mom just had, like, issues with their cars. It's a new generation of, like, stock cars for NASCAR, so I'm not really expecting, you know, perfection in terms of, like, the teams and knowing mechanical failures, stuff like that, but it was definitely very, very weird. But there wasn't really very much, uh, happening in terms of the actual thing. I definitely think that the event was overall decent. For NASCAR, I, I think the turnout was incredible, honestly. The turnout of this event was um, actually quite surprising. I really did not expect that stadium to be as full as it was, and it, it was pretty sizable. It wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. We technically didn't have a stage break in this race, which surprised me because it was a lap, 150 laps. Really, really surprised me. But instead, what we had was a cube break. <laughs> yeah, Ice Cube uh, did a thing. Um, he, he performed, uh, I think Pitbull also performed a little bit earlier before the actual main event happened. So Ice Cube did the little halfway point, uh, like, I guess show, I guess. And that was a, that was like 30 minutes or so. The first half was kind of interesting. Second half was, eh, I mean, it was okay, I guess. It was racing, I guess. Mildly disappointing, absolutely, uh, because it was just very, very, like, it was so much build-up, so much build-up, like, wow, look, you know, you see all these guys, like, Tyler Reddick's in the main show, and you see Justin Haley's inside the main show, and it was just kind of like, I mean, hey, okay, they don't really have, matter really much, um, I mean, Denny Hamlin even got, like, eliminated pretty early in the race, and you thought that was going to be a huge thing, but no, it didn't really turn out to be, I don't even think he would have been contending for the lead, honestly. Because it was really just a Logano and Bush show. It really was. But yeah, and ended up with Joey Logano taking the W. Um, it was alright. I can't wait for Daytona. Uh, that's really whenever we're really going to see how good this next-gen car really, really is. I was impressed with what I saw with the next-gen car this, this, this race. But it's really at Daytona that's the one that's really going to intrigue me and what's really going to interest me. So Bush Light Clash, decent. Kind of mediocre near the end. But decent, all things considered. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and see you guys soon. Take care, everyone.